प्लीज तैयार कर बस दिनों ला थैंक यू आज हम बुक ऑल ऑफ़ सुबह से एक दिन स्ट्रीम है प्रोग्राम भाई रहते हो जिसमें से नहीं हम बुक या लोकल और नेशनल है माया भाई ने आवंटित का माया बाजू लेता May I request all the guests, please um, take a seat, please. Thank you. We are now starting our official program. Please be quiet. Please be quiet on, on my left. Excuse me. <laughs> order, order, order. Good morning and a namaste, you all. Honorable Deputy Lord Lieutenant of Hampshire, Major Money Rai MB, Minister for Defence People and Veterans, Right Honourable Leo Dokhati MP, Deputy Chief of Mission Nepal, Major Rosan Knal, Mayor of Rushmore Borough Council, Mayor Bruce Thomas, Commander Home Command and Joint Standing Command, Lieutenant General Ian Cave CB, Lieutenant General Sir Peter Duffield KCB, CB MC, Commander 101 Lock Brig Brigadier Patch Royal MB, distinguished guests, kind donors, honorary aldermen, county councillors, Rushmore Barrow Council councillors, members of Greater. I am Major Kim Gochen, the Chief Coordinator for the Gurkha Memorial Project Team. A very warm welcome to you all to this historical event, the unveiling ceremony of the memorial statue of Rifleman Kulbir Thapa, VC, the first Gurkha recipient of the Victoria Cross. This is a very proud moment for all of us to see the statue of Gurkha saving a wounded British Tommy in the First World War. The memorable statue symbolizes over 200 years of loyal Gurkha service to the Crown. The warm affinity that exists between the British public, the local communities in Rushmore and the surrounding areas with the Gurkhas and the serving Gurkha battalion or regiment for over 30 years. Those of you who may not be aware, Queen's own Gurkha Logistic Regiment was granted the freedom of, of the borough of Rushmore in March 2016. We hope that this statue will serve as a reminder to the younger generation, the local communities, and those visiting the statue. The strong bond that exists between Britain and Nepal, and how the Gurkha soldiers have stood shoulder to shoulder with their British comrades in every theater of war since 1816 to this present day. Now, some general health and safety points. In case of fire, particularly whilst indoor, everyone is kindly requested to assemble in the Princess Garden car park, just behind this building on my left. Mr. Suresh Thapa from Fire Service is here to help us should there be any fire incident. In the event of an emergency, Councillor Jib Belbasi will take command of the situation. Should you wish to use the toilet, please walk down to the Empire Hall about 50 meters down to my left. At ground floor and first floor, toilets are open for both gender. Securities officers are provided by the security, Gurkha Security Services and they will be monitoring our event area. Please do obey their instructions should there be any unforeseen event. Additionally, Hampshire. The GMP team sincerely apologizes for not being able to invite everyone, those um, standing outside, sitting outside. One thing is undoubtedly, undoubtedly sure, without the contribution of our very generous donors, we would not be able here, be here today to celebrate this historic moment. Once again, our very big thank you to you all, and could I please ask you all to give them a big round of applause, please. I think I've said enough. 
And without further ado, I shall now hand over to uh, hand over the microphone, this microphone to our two MCs, Master of Ceremonies, Captain Gary Gali to my left, and uh, uh, who is project manager of the Rakhine Memorial Project team, and Mrs. Maya Dangal Casey, uh, Vice President of Greater Rashmore Nepali Community and a GMP team member. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and namaste to you all. Thank you ever so much for being here today to witness the unveiling ceremony of the first Gurkha VC recipient, Rifleman Kulvi Thapa VC. I'm sure you are all as excited, exuberant, and proud to be here as we are today to witness this special ceremony. It's today that marks the day when he started his journey 106 years ago to achieve his Victoria Cross and this is why we've aptly chosen the 25th of September today. A warm welcome to you all and I hope that you're prepared and pleased with what you've done and what you've contributed to. Thank you so much to all our donors. Thank you. We shall now proceed on to the religious ceremony. For that, could I please ask Lama Kempo and Pandit Ji to come forward to do their uh, religious ceremony? Thank you. Aba, Amro Lama Kempo, Rapandit Ji Le. Yes, Murti ko Anubaran Samara ko Vishema ke Puja Pat Gano Nisa. Taneva. I'm going to pray for เออนอเซนอมดอรอเจนลอนโดเบตาเจจูจอเจนอจูบอยสันเจจูตอเกดอมปาเบตกุลอยจอซอนตอจอนตอเจจูตุเมจอบอซันเตมตอนโดกุล
सुस्तीनो बृहस्पतिर्दा भद्रम कर्णे शृणुयाम देवा भद्रम पश्येम शबीर्जत्रा स्थिरंग तुष्टुवागुंसस्तनु विर्वशे महिदे बहित जदायु हरि ओम दो शातिरक्षु शाति पृथिवी शातिराप शाति रोखदय शाति वनस्पत शाति विश्वेदेवा शाति 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 सामा शाति ओ शाति ओ शाति ओ शाति ओ भूर्भुव स्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भर्गो देवश्यम धीयो यो न प्रचोदया ओ भूर्भुव स्व त्र्यंबक यजामहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धन ऊर्वाकमिव वंदन मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृता शाति 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 We shall now move on to the reading of the citation. The citation in English will be read by Maya Dangal Kesi. Kulbir Thapa was born in Wadi Gadgaon. Darling Baglung in Nepal around 1888 He was a Thapa from the Mogar ethnic group in Nepal He was originally enlisted with the 1st Battalion of the 3rd Gurkha Rifles but was transferred to the 2nd Battalion for service in France after the outbreak of the First World War in 1914 In September 1915 3rd Gurkha Rifles had been tasked with taking part in the larger battle of Neuve Chapelle a prior german bombardment had unfortunately hit a cache of british gas shells in the section of line held by the second battalion of third gurkha rifles and so the gurkhas had to carry out their attacks in gas masks casualties were heavy kobir was part of a group of soldiers who had fought their way into a german trench despite the odds but in doing so every other member of the group had been killed save himself kulbir thapa though wounded himself came across a wounded british soldier of the second leicestershire regiment and against the protestations of the british soldier stayed with the man for the rest of the day and following night On the morning of the 26th under the cover of mist Gulbeer carried the wounded man back out through the German wire and brought him to comparative safety He then returned and carried out two wounded Gurkhas one after the other soldier and brought him to the full safety of the British lines For the majority of this last trip he was under enemy fire and it is said that in upon that in at least one instance german fire ceased and was replaced with applause upon seeing gulbir's bravery for these actions gulbir was immediately recommended for the victoria cross which indian army soldiers had only been eligible for 4 years previously the recommendation was accepted and gulbir thapa became the first gurkha soldier to receive the victoria cross gulbir would go on to recover from this wound and be promoted to the rank of havildar sergeant he accompanied his regiment to egypt after the 
after they left France later in 1915, returned to India at the conclusion of the war, and he received his pension upon retirement and died at home in Nepal on October the 3rd, 1956, aged 68. I shall now read the citation in Nepali. Poelu VC Prapta Karta Gorkha Rifleman Kul with Thapa Sambandi Sarchipta Bibaran Bikram Sambat Atarse Atasima Vodigat Gaon Darling Baglung Nepal Ma Janmeka VC Kul with Thapa Magar Zati Thapa Kathie Suruma Wahatesro Gorkha Rifles Go Pahilo Battalion Ma Barna Bhai Kathie Tarasan Unaiso Saudama Prasam Vishwa Yuta Suru Bhai Pachi Online France Ma Sewa Garna Kulagi Dosro Battalion Ma Saruwa Gare Kuthiyo Unaiso Pondrako September Ma Thin Gorkha Rifles Lai Nerve Chapal Ko Aja Tuller Lanaima Baglina Katae Kuthiyo Durbagabas एउटा पूर्व जर्मन बमबारी द्वारा प्रहार गरेको बम टुथ र जियरले थामी राखेको भागमा लुकाई राखेको ब्रिटिश ग्यासको गोलाको बाक्सहरूमा लाग्यो जसको कारणले गर्दा गोर्खाहरूले आफ्नो आक्रमण ग्यास मार्च लगाई गर्नु पर्यो हताहत हुने संख्या अति नै धेरै थियो कुलवीर थापा एउटा सैनिकहरूका टोलीको जवान थिए र अति नै कठिनाईका बावजुद पनि उनीहरू लड्दै जर्मनको खाडल भित्र पर्दै थिए तर यसो गर्नाले आफू बाहेक त्यस टोलीका हरेक जवानहरूलाई मारिदिएका थिए कुलवीर थापा आफू घाइते भए तापनि सेकेन्ड लेस्टरशायर रेजिमेन्टका एक घायल ब्रिटिश सैनिकको सामुन्य आए र सो ब्रिटिश सैनिकले विरोध गरे तापनि उसको साथमा बाँकीको दिन र रातभरि बसे र 26 को बिहान को जिस मिसेमा घायल से निकलाए जर्मन को तार बटा फरकी त्याहा भय को अलिक सुरक्षित स्थान मा लिए रा आए तेसे पची उनी फरके रा गए घायते भय का दुई जाना गौर काले हरुलाई पालो पालो गरी बोके रा ले आए अंतिम मा फेरी एक पटक दिन को उजालो समय मा फरकी प्रारंभिक घायल लाइन को पूर्ण सुरक्षित ठाउँ में लाए। यो अंतिम यात्रा में धेरै जसो समय में उन्हें सत्रु हर को गोली को फायर में परी रहे को थियो। रब हनाई था कि एक समय में कुलबीर थापा को बहुदूरी देखी जर्मन को गोली को फायर रोके रा केस को बदली में उन्हें हर ले ताली मारे का थी। यो अतंते साहसी कार्य को लागी जून पदक प्राप्ति कलागी भारतीय सैनिक हरुलाई चार वर्ष पहिला मात्र यज्ञ होने व्यवस्था गरीब को थियो गरीब को सिफारिश स्वीकार भाई पची कुल भी सापा भीषी प्राप्त करने मा पहिलो गोरखा सैनिक भाई का थिए कुल भी सापा आपनों घायते पन बाटा निको भाई हवलदार अथवा सार्जन पद मा बढ़वा भाई उन्ह 1915 मा फ्रांस छोडे पछि उनी आफ्नो रेजिमेन्ट सँगै इजिप्ट गए र युद्ध अन्त्य भएपछि भारतमा फर्के सेवानवृत्ति पछि आफ्नो पेन्सन प्राप्त गरे र नेपालको आफ्नै घरमा 3 अक्टोबर 1956 मा 68 वर्षको उमेरमा उहाँको देहान्त भयो धन्यवाद The unveiling ceremony. Abahami Anabaran Samaraku Tarfalagdaicho. To do the unveiling, could I please call the following forward? Deputy Lieutenant Monica Rai, MBE. Deputy Chief of Mission, Mrs. Roshan Kanal. Minister for Defense People and Veterans, Right Honorable Leo Dokati, MP. Commander Home Command and the Standing Joint Command UK. Lieutenant General Ian K. C. V. Thank you.
तपाईहरु अलि पछाडी गाइदिनुस् ओके रेडी 1 2 3 Thank you. If you could go back to your seat, please. Aba ami. Ladai ma jan gumai ka saathi ho ruko samjana ma dui minute mono daran garne chau. We shall now observe two minute silence to remember for this two minute silence. One, two, three, the time starts now. You may now sit down. Thailand Veterans Right Honorable Leo Doherty MP, Deputy Chief of Mission, Mrs. Mrs. Roshan Kanal, Command of Command, Home Command, and the Standing Joint Command UK, Lieutenant General Ian Cave CB, Lieutenant General Sir Peter Duffel KCB CB MC, Mayor of Rushmore, Mayor Bruce Thomas, Chairman of Greater Rushmore Nepali Community, Ramdan Rai, and Rushmore Borough Council Cabinet Leader David Clifford. One, two, three. Thank you very much. Lord Lieutenant Moni Kumarai, MB, to say a few words. Thank you.
was catching up from right here and then one gentleman came to <laughs> so I could not <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, for those of my vintage or older will remember in the days of Hong Kong after the Nepal Cup, a very senior general appeared when he was asked to give a speech at the end of the Nepal Cup and he said, Ratayo, Pani Ayo, Bopani Ayo, Bhatandinu. Basically translated, that means the night has come the rain has come and I have come to give my speech. <laughs> Luckily so far the rain has held off and I hope it will continue to do so. It's a great honour to be here today, not only in my role as Deputy Lord Lieutenant of Hampshire, but also as an ex-Gurkar officer and a Nepali. The Lord Lieutenant of Hampshire sends his regrets and wishes you all the best for today. I would like to thank the city who have worked for over three and a half years to make this a success that it has been. I would also like to thank all the donors who have allowed the committee to fulfil their dreams. And last but not least, I'd like to thank Amy for her hard work, for the dedication that she's put in. The research that she's put into the work, and I'm sure you will all agree that she has put in the love of labor in order to finish this on time and to this. Like the Queen's Green Canopy project today, Gurkhas were planted as a small sapling by the East India Company in India in 1815, 206 years ago. That sapling has now grown into a mighty oak, the bark of which has many, many battle honors and lots of awards for gallantry surrounding it. In the 206 years that the Brigade of Gurkhas has been in existence, we have won 26 Victoria Crosses, 13 British and 13 Gurkhas. The Gurkha Oak remains thriving and vibrant with the help of the Gurkha Museum who provide our history and heritage to Headquarters Brigade of Gurkhas who look after our service personnel and their families, the Gurkha Welfare Trust who look after our Gurkha veterans and widows in Nepal and finally the Gurkha Brigade Association which look after our veterans here in UK. Gulbi Tapa was 26 years old. He was in the second battalion of the third Queen Alexandra's own Gurkha rifles. He, as you've already heard, was the first Gurkha to be awarded the Victoria Cross. His act of selfless bravery in Northern France in rescuing three of his comrades, two Gurkhas and one British, whilst he himself was wounded, is a testament to the bravery of Gurkhas and the name Bravest of the Brave. There can be no better exemplar of Gurkha soldier than Kulbir Tapa. This statue will not only commemorate him, but also those that went before him and those that have followed after. I would like to thank the leader, the chief executive and mayor of Rushmore Borough Councils for their help 
and support. The people of Aldershot for continuing to engage with their ex-Gurkhas and the Nepalese within their communities. Without your support, this project would not have been the huge success that it is today. In conclusion, I hope this statue will inspire those who come to see it to emulate the selflessness and bravery that Kulbir Papa displayed in their own lives when things are getting tough. Panyabad and Jai Gorkha. Our next speaker is Minister for Defence, People and Veterans, Right Honourable Leo Doherty, MP. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Deputy Lord Lieutenant, Mr. Mayor, Generals, Councillors and esteemed guests, I would like to firstly, formally put on record my sincere thanks for your extremely warm welcome today and for giving me the tremendous honour of marking this unveiling of this magnificent statue. And I would like to extend my deepest gratitude to the chairman of the Greater Rushmore Nepali community, Mr. Ramnam Rai, Captain Gary Gale, and Major Kim Gaushan of the Gurkha Memorial Project and their entire team and all of those donors and supporters have, who have so generously made this statue possible. I thank you all. I am particularly honoured because the statue before us today is indeed a beautiful work of art with a deep and resonant message about the values we all of us hold dear. Courage, comradeship, compassion, bravery in the face of danger, and the indomitable fighting spirit of the Gurkhas. These military values, which embody the Gurkha fighting spirit, match the historic role all the shot plays in our nation's military heritage as the home of the British Army, and for 50 years, home to the magnificent brotherhood of the Parachute Regiment and airborne forces, powerfully evoked by the majestic figure of the airborne soldier who is watching over us as, as I speak, and is also the product of the marvellous artistic hand of Amy Goodman. We are rightly proud of our military heritage and the values of this statue. Furthermore, we should be very proud that the way this statue symbolises particularly the comradeship forged in war between a Gurkha and a British soldier. Blood brothers, defiant in the face of the enemy, ferociously brave, but also one dependent upon the other, showing the act of mercy, the act of rescue, as the highest form of gallantry, worthy, rightly, of the Victoria Cross. And this always, this also points the way towards what started as a military comradeship 200 years ago between the British military and the Gurkhas has matured and developed into an affinity, a mutual respect and cooperation demonstrated by the highly successful integration of our Nepali brothers and sisters into all the shot and the Rushmore community and the wider UK community not just as former military comrades in arms, but as friends and fellow members of a vibrant... Echo that same sentiment when I say, Ma atyante khushi chu, ki rashmor samodayama napali haroka sapal, integration bai kucha, jun kadapi todine china, jun kadapi todine china, ma hamro samodayama napali haroko, sandal yogan raheko kura, Sahasra Swaikad Gadachu Ra Pitri Radek Ridaya Deki Danyabad Dina Chahanchu Ma Kiwal Nepali Haruko Sahasik Saina Siwa Matanabai 
नकारिक सेवा को लागी पाने दाने बाद इंशु रायु अलाउकिक प्रतिमा या साइको प्रातिको जय नेपाल जय यूके नमस्कार Please come forward, Commander Home Command and the Standing Joint Command. Thank you very much for the opportunity to say a few words. Firstly, on the nature of the statue itself and what it represents. Beyond the magnificence of the art, the act of a Gurkha soldier saving the life of a British soldier at the time of direst need is a magnificent reflection of the very close relationship between Gurkha soldiers and British soldiers for over 200 years that most of us in this audience will have seen firsthand. It is a very emotionally charged statue and a wonderful tribute to a very close relationship. I would also just acknowledge the act of a Gurkha soldier putting his life at risk for a British soldier he had not met until that time of greatest need, which talks about the very deep well of emotion and service that we see every day from our Gurkha soldiers. I'm very proud to be in an army that continues to nurture that relationship. I smile with the warmest of hearts when I see young Gurkha soldiers straight from Nepal starting a 36 week training program in Katarik and the pride on their faces as they pass out from there and move forward into the infantry, the engineers, the signals, all the logistics, all the staff and personnel support branch is something that you should all see at least once in your life. Tremendous pride. I'm very grateful for the continued service of our Nepali soldiers. Thank you. Namati Baja will play the music. They will go around the memorial statue once and lead all guests and donors to our next venue, which is the Empire Hall, which is just a few walks away. Thank you.
the marquee to do um, a round uh, circle of the statue. Now it is man. 